What we're looking at here is a village that I built on my Minecraft realm imported to Minecraft Overviewer. Why is this a big deal? Well, when you download a Minecraft realm, the world save file is incompatible with Minecraft Overviewer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your Minecraft realm, convert it to a version that is compatible with Minecraft Overviewer, set up Minecraft Overviewer, and create this render of your map. So first things first, we're going to launch our Minecraft for Windows and we're going to jump into our realm. Okay, now that we're in our realm, we're going to go into our settings, click on backups, and we're going to download the latest backup of our realm. Okay, we got it. Now we can close Minecraft. Next, we're going to use a free tool called Chunker. And what this tool does is converts Minecraft maps from Bedrock to Java or from Java to Bedrock. And it can also convert maps between different versions of Minecraft. So we're going to click Choose World Folder. And to find the World Folder, you're going to go into the address bar and type percent, app data percent, and then Click on this app data here. We're going to go into local packages. And then there's going to be a folder here called Microsoft.Minecraft. We'll click into that one. And then local state, games, com.mojang, Minecraft worlds. And this is where we'll find all of our bedrock worlds. This is where they are saved. So we'll just click on the folder that contains the world that we want to convert and click upload. When it says ready to upload, click start upload. And now it's going to give you an option for how you would like to export your world. Now this step is really important for the Minecraft overviewer. At the time of making this video, I'm using Java edition 1.19.4, which is the most recent version. I recommend you use the most recent version. So I'm going to export this as Java edition 1.19.4, and I'm gonna scroll down and click convert and download. Once it's done, click on download, and it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. Now, we're gonna to wanna to save it where our Java worlds get saved. And to do this, we're gonna do the same thing by typing percent app data percent, and then in the app data roaming folder, there's a dot Minecraft folder, and then a saves folder. And this is where all of our worlds get saved. So we're gonna save this zip file in that folder, and we're going to go to that folder on our system. You can get there the same way by going to the address bar and typing percent app data percent, and you'll be in this Minecraft folder, saves, and you'll want to extract the files that are in that folder. If you can't extract this, you probably need to download WinRAR, which is an archive extracting tool. It's free. We can just right click on it and select extract to, and it's going to create a folder for us. And we're just going to rename the folder. And now we have our bedrock world from our realm converted to Java, ready to play in the Java version. Okay, so now let's talk about Minecraft overviewer. This is a free tool that you can download. It's really tricky to get this set up, but don't worry, I'll take you through it. Step one, go to minecraftoverviewer.org. I'll put a link in the description. Go to the downloads page and download the zip file. Once you've downloaded and extracted the zip file, you'll have an overviewer folder. You wanna go into this folder and just make sure that you have all these files here. Now, there's a few things you're going to need to make overviewer work in the first place. So first and most importantly, you're going to need to create a config file. This is just a blank text file that you must have for Overviewer to work. So in this folder, we're just going to right click anywhere and click new text document. And I recommend you just call it config. Now, there are a few different things we're going to have to put in this config file and we'll go over them one by one. So first and foremost, we have to pick 
which map we want to make a world overview of. To do this, we just need to specify the path of where our world save files are, which we just created. In this case, this level.dat file, which is the world file, is in this folder called sosick1. I can just go to this address bar, copy the address, and put it right there. Now, it's important to switch the backslashes to forward slashes. In any text editor, you can easily do that with Control H and replace a backslash with a forward slash and click replace all or just do it manually. For these quotes here, I recommend you just use the name of your world. In this case, I'll just call it so sick one. Next, we're going to pick what kind of render we want. So if we just select normal render, this is going to create just a basic render of the map. You can do other kinds of renders at different angles, at nighttime, in the nether, all different kinds of renders that we can play with. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to start with a normal render. And you have to put the name of the world. This has to be accurate. If you don't put the world name correctly, it will not show up properly. Next is the texture path. Now you may not have to put this depending on how Minecraft has been set up on your PC. In my case, I did have to put a texture path. And to do this, I had to download the Minecraft jar file, which is the Java file, and extract it so that the computer can navigate to the folders and the files. And I had to specify where all the textures for the game were located in those folders. I'll show you how to do that right now. So there's a website called mcversions.net. This lets you download all the different previous versions of Minecraft. In this case, we're just downloading 1.19.4 and we're going to click on client jar. Now I recommend you download this to the Minecraft folder. So again, to get there, app data, Minecraft. And here we're just going to go to versions 1.19.4 and we're going to save it here. You can see I already did. Once it's downloaded, you can right click on it and extract into its own folder. And this is what it looks like. And this is all of the files for the game. So we're just going to take this address or this path and we're going to copy it. And this is where our texture path will be. And make sure to put it in quotes. And again, replace the backslashes with forward slashes. And finally, we need an output directory, which is the folder that our render will be saved to once it's all done and we can view it and enjoy our nice 3D render of our map. We'll save our config file and now we're ready to create our render. So to use Overviewer, you have to go into your command prompt. So click on your Windows icon and type in CMD, and this will bring up this command window. So to use Overviewer, we first need to navigate to the folder where we extracted Overviewer and all the files. And that's the folder where we created that config file in the first place. So you wanna get the address of this folder as well, and we're gonna copy it. And in our command prompt, we're going to type CD space and then control V to paste the address. And now we've navigated to that folder. And now we can type in the command overviewer, which is going to launch the program, dash C, which means use this config file. And we're going to specify the config file, which is config.txt. And we're going to press enter. And here we see it says, welcome to Minecraft overviewer, generating textures, that means we did everything correctly. And now it's going to start creating our 3D map. Now there's one step I purposely left out here. It's gonna show us a bunch of errors and I'm gonna show you why it's a really easy fix. So you can see this error that we're getting. Render tile was requested for render, but no chunks found. This may be a bug. So if we go to the folder that we specified for outputting our render, we have this file here called index, and this opens our browser and allows us to look at our map. So if I double click on it, it's completely black. 
it did not render it correctly. So let's go ahead and delete all the files that this just created in our output folder because there's one step that is crucial to making this work. We have to launch Minecraft, go into our Java edition, click on single player, and you can see the map that I have is grayed out here. This means I've never logged into this map. This map has never been rendered in game. And this is why we're having the error. According to Overviewer, this map has never been even opened. So I'll go into this map and I'm just gonna set my game mode to creative and I'm gonna go explore the map a bit. So now that I've given the game a chance to render the map, load some chunks, I can now exit and retry with Overviewer. So I'm just gonna close Minecraft Make sure it saves the world. And once more, I'm going to run the command overviewer-c config.txt. And it says generating textures. And you can see it started loading all the files here into the output directory. While you're waiting for your render to complete, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's a really great way to show your support and it keeps me going. Now it might still throw some errors trying to render certain chunks. That's because there are chunks that exist in the map that I haven't explored in that quick play, but you can see that there are chunks being rendered without any errors, and that means it's working. And now that the render is complete, we'll just click on this index file, and you can see it rendered the map that I explored in that quick play session.